hey y'all. Hey, hi, hello, hi. So, I feel like I've been gone from YouTube for like way too long and I don't like it. I don't like it. But it's gala season, so a girl been busy. So I figured why I still got a little time on my hands, why I got a minute, while I got time on my hands. Okay. I don't know why I just break out in a song every time I say something. The ghetto. Uh, <laughs> just some random. But I had to come, y'all. I saw this video not too long ago, and I meant to react to it, and I saved it in a playlist of reaction videos because I... Y'all know this right up my alley. Y'all know this is right up my alley right here. This is... I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So every time I see it, I'm going to call it out. I'm going to call it out every time I see it. So before we get into that real quick, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hmm? Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment, comment, like, subscribe. However order you want to do it. Whatever way suits you. What, what makes you comfortable? As long as you do all of it or at least one, I'm cool. I'm cool. I ain't even going to ask for too much. Okay? Make sure you're going to subscribe and like at least. But meet me in the comments, though, because y'all know we have fun in the comments. Um, so this one is about Westchester police were found. Uh, they were looking for a shooting suspect. Oh, sh sorry. Shoplifting suspect in Walmart. And they stopped the wrong man. Because of what? His skin color. Of course. So, let's get into it. If y'all hear some doors closing and banging and stuff in the back, that's my neighbors in the hallway. They don't respect me, okay? Especially James, because he right across the hall and he slams that damn door. So, don't just, don't even worry about it. Okay, so I'm make sure I'm recording. Uh, okay, here we go. Video shows Westchester officers stopping and actually questioning a black man in a Meyer store. Police records show the suspect, though, in this case was white. The innocent black shopper is now suing Meyer, the police department, and two officers claiming they illegally profiled him, violating his rights and humiliating him. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham shows how the incident unfolded and also how police and the victim responded. Westchester police body camera video shows officers Tim Menkenball and Tanner Sendez looking for a possible shoplifter 10 minutes after a police dispatcher gave this description. Caucasian male, maybe late 30s. He's wearing a dark green slash gray. Okay, hold on. Now, let me let me let me go back. Hold on. First, let me cut the subtitles off. Um, wait a minute. Don't cut all that already off. Girl, you didn't do that before you actually started playing the video. Childish in the motherfucker. Uh, but let me go back to my right. Yeah, right there. Okay. I want y'all to read this with me. Um, cause it maybe it's me. But I want to pause right here. What is the first word in the description? Caucasian, Caucasian, white, okay, white male, Caucasian male, Caucasian, <laughs> it's there, the dispatcher said Caucasian, white male, period, period. Everything up. White male, maybe late thirties, wearing a dark screen, a dark green jacket or whatever she goes on. I'm gonna keep the video going, but I want y'all to focus on on what I'm seeing. Cause is it just me or do that not say Caucasian male? Cause I mean I wear glasses, I could be blind, but that say Caucasian male, right? Caucasian mean white, right? Okay, I just wanted to make sure that like I wasn't tripping. Which I'm not, but green slash gray type colored Carhartt coat, got a red hoodie green, green. underneath. Red um, hoodie underneath. I believe he has a cutting device. Is this him right here walking up to us? Within a few minutes after they arrived in the store, Sendez points to a man he said looked in his direction 
and mirrored the officer. Yeah, it looks like Carhartt probably would have laughed about it. It's not Carhartt. Susan, it ain't even like him. But despite Menkenball's it doubts, the senior officer leads like Sendez, a trainee, toward Eric Lindsay, a 60-year-old black man wearing a puffy orange coat. Hey, boss. Come talk to me. Hold on, pause. So, see, that'd be the problem. That's where the problem is. It's the fucking officers in charge and the higher ups, racist motherfuckers that be tainting the, the trainees and the younger ones that's coming in. Because the younger one knew he was like, nah, that ain't him. That that ain't I don't think that's him. But because he's a trainee, he has to respect his superior officer. So if the superior officer say, come on, he got to come on. He can't just be like, no, nah, that's not him. That's a black man. He can't do that. So it be the older racist motherfuckers that's have, of higher rank that be fucking it up for all the, the, the young ones that's coming in. Now, mind you, some of them come in already with racist intentions. But at the same time, it's them old apples that's spoiling the fresh bunch. Okay? I don't even know if that fucking made sense, but it made sense to me, so I said it. They the ones who are spoiling the fucking new people that are coming in, that man clearly said, that don't look like him. He knew. He knew. But the other motherfucker, Mick and Ball, however you say that shit, sounds fucking racist to me, was like, nah, that's him. Caucasian male? A police department internal investigation of the incident found at this point you can hear a police dispatcher on the body camera video telling officers that the real suspect was still in a different part of the store. Hold up. So y'all just go. They just told you he in a different part of the store. So basically you gonna just let him keep committing the crime. First of all, you already know he Caucasian. So you not you he white let him let him commit the crime it don't fucking matter I want to talk to this black man right here who ain't doing a goddamn thing but minding his business so basically you gonna let the criminal keep going around the store stealing shit possibly gonna hurt somebody while y'all fuck with this man so fuck the criminal activity fuck the reason y'all was called in there he's still at large in the store it, but yet you still decided nah. Instead of catching the actual criminal, I'm just going to fuck with this nigga. Literally. I don't understand it. I really, I don't understand it. I don't. Yeah, stop. What's up? Yeah, uh, I hope you called and said that, that you were concealing some items inside the jacket. Then, you Officer Sendez tells Lindsay that Meyer lost prevention said the suspect is wearing a tan jacket, even though police records show that wasn't true. Well, what did they say? Because I walked in here after you. He died. Is, they didn't say this is tan. tan. What am I listening to? What am I listening to? This is he don't tan. got a green or This is orange. Okay. Relax. Relax. It's okay. That's okay. right. Go off. Okay. It's not okay. Menken continued questioning Lindsay. Do you have any items in your jacket? Hell yeah, I got items in my jacket. Okay. The items that I walked in here with behind you guys. Okay. Well, that's not what we're being told. <laughs> it was the smart comeback for me. Like, <laughs> that nigga say, hell yeah. The ones I came in here with, behind y'all. So I came in after y'all. Ain't no way I could have been in here stealing if I came in behind y'all. So at this point, you're just fucking with me. Like, you literally are fucking with me because I'm black. There's no other reason. There's no other explanation because everything and everybody around you telling you the criminal's still at large, he a Caucasian male, he got on red and green. You just don't give a fuck. Like, you just, you woke up this morning, I'm going to get into some racist shit today. Yep. I'm going to get into some racist shit. Like, I'm going to just fuck with a random black nigga today. Like, I, I feel I feel the need to fuck with a random black nigga. And that's all I want to do. You know, fuck just stopping crime and actually doing my job. I just want to fuck with a black nigga. Fuck it. What else am I here for? Stupid bitch. <laughs> Don't piss me off. 
After that, the police dispatcher is heard saying the real suspect is near Valentine's cards. Sendez leaves with a Meyer employee, later identified as a manager. Menkenbaugh follows. Two minutes later, a different officer arrested a white man who matched the description of the suspect. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look, look at. Red hoodie, green jacket, Caucasian male, mid-30s, bam, there you go. But a different officer arrested him. So y'all had to bring in a different officer. That man woke up that morning and said, let's get into some racist shit. Period. That that was the, ex they gave y'all the exact description of the fucking man. Look at him. Look at. I'm sick of it. I'm just, I'm, I used to be honest. If they made a mistake like that and it was truly a mistake, what kind of people are you hiring Exactly. and given a gun to. They made mistakes here. Westchester Police Chief Joel Herzog says the police department's internal investigation found Menkenbaugh and Sendez violated police department policy that prohibits well, unjustifiable God. stopping and questioning of citizens, but found no evidence that the officers <laughs> stopped okay. Lindsay because he's black. When Officer Sendez what first line. What other reason do y'all have to stop him other than he's black? He don't even look suspicious. He got a mask on. He on the grocery aisle. He old. Like, what other reason did y'all have other than he was black? Y'all had the full description, including his skin color, and decided, let's stop this black man. You saw a black man. It wasn't even like a different, it was a white guy that looked similar to what they looking for. Or maybe the black dude had on like a red hoodie, so they got confused. Or maybe he had on a green jacket, so they got confused. This man had on a completely different outfit and was black and was nowhere near his mid-30s. It's race. I hate this shit. I hate this shit. And then, of course, the fucking police chief or whatever the fuck he is is going to stand up for the shit because that's what they do. That's why I thank God for my uncle. Because as a chief deputy, he ain't standing for this bullshit. If you wrong, you wrong. If you racist, you racist. He not going to get on camera and say some shit like that and defend some stupid shit. No. That shit was racist and they going to have to pay for their actions. That's what we need more of. We need more African-American men in high rankings and leadership. When Officer Mankinball first saw him, neither could tell his race. I think Officer Sendez says he kept mirroring me, um, which he felt in his experience in loss prevention uh, led to, hey, this guy's watching us also, so maybe this, this guy's involved. But descriptions constantly change in our, in our line of work. When there's no evidence him. that that description changed, correct? Not exactly. in this, no. But that doesn't mean between the time the description's put out, they have clothing in the store that uh, many times suspects discard what they're wearing. The I-team asked Herzog and Lindsay. Sorry for the get on this. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I, my headphones. Jesus. <laughs> all over y'all are mad y'all know y'all know i'm mad normally i see that's why i had to hold off on this video because it's pissing me off as the second goes by but i'm always mad at shit like this they can change clothes in the store they can't change skin they can't change race a white man don't turn into a black man in a motherfucking Walmart. You can't just go on aisle 10 and put some new skin on. You can't do that, bruh. Like, is this nigga serious? See, he was fumbling and shit. He, no, nah, he, he fucked up. He fucked up. And I fucked with the reporter because he was like, but the description never changed. It never fucking changed. The first description and characteristic they gave y'all, Caucasian male. They never changed that. Oh, well, maybe he's black. It didn't say Caucasian or black. It didn't even say just male. 
like with no race. It said Caucasian male. You can't change that. I don't give a fuck how many sweatshirts you put on in Walmart. No. It's not possible. The fuck? To watch the same body camera video of the incident and describe what they see. These guys remained professional throughout this. They didn't escalate as Mr. Lindsay. You got the wrong because they deserve Admit. an award for what? Not Lindsay fucking says he saw disrespectful and clueless officers. For someone to make a mistake like that, are they that incompetent? But Lindsay says he's also concerned about his anger and loud cursing at the officers. It's nothing that I'm proud of. He says since college and throughout his life, police officers in different communities have stopped and questioned him for no good reason. You reach a boiling point and I guess that was mine. The Westchester Police Department gave officers yeah, Metkin Ball and Sendez administrative warnings and required them to get retrained on field interviews. It was about as minimal of a contact as you can have uh, with police. It was just a simple walk up, consensual encounter, some questioning. But what's simple to y'all? Lindsay it's filed not a simple. lawsuit last month against the Westchester Police Department, officers Menken Ball and Sendez, and the Meyer Company, claiming they conspired to violate his rights. Do I need to have been tased or cuffed to exactly. feel like I was done wrong? I don't think so. I don't know what the fuck noise is going on out there. I hate it here. But regardless of that, that man tired. He tired of y'all fucking with him. Stop fucking with him. Stop fucking with us. We sick of this shit. Hell, he handled it way better than I did. Because honestly, I and he did not like that he got upset or whatever. You know, he could have handled it differently. Yes, he could have. But at the same time, me knowing me and the mouth that God gave me, I probably would have reacted like that. And I'm not even his age. Because what you're not going to do is walk up on me, ask me to take anything out of my motherfucking pocket or anything of the sort. I'm not doing that shit. I don't care if you do come to me with an attitude. Because off the rip, I'm going to assume that you racially profiling me. I don't know what the fuck noise that is, but it is really irritating the shit out of me. <laughs> God damn, shut up. That's why I can't record in the daytime. But I just, I don't understand. Like, I really, I don't understand. I it, This just sends me every time I get pissed off because it's like, why y'all keep doing this? What? Why y'all keep, what are they fucking teaching y'all? And then you're going to go get retrained. For what? You still going to go out and do the same shit? This whole administrative leave bullshit. Like, hold these motherfuckers accountable. If you don't hold them accountable, they're going to keep doing the fucking shit. So hold them accountable. Administrative leave ain't shit. Retraining ain't shit. None of that, is, that don't mean shit. That ain't going to change nothing. They still going to go back out there when that shit is up and do the same thing they was doing before. Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of fussing. I mean, I'm not tired. I'm done fussing is what I meant to say. But, because I'm never tired of fussing about shit like this. I will go off because I, I got to make it known. I'm going to keep using this big ass mouth the Lord put on me. And I just got to keep fighting. Like, we got to keep fighting. Because this shit is not okay. This shit is it's not okay. Like, that could have been my daddy. That could have been one of my friend's daddy, one of my brothers. That could have been, that could have been your daddy. Or your uncle. Come on now, like, man, fuck out of here. Anyway, make sure y'all <laughs> make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Hopefully when I go back to edit this video, whatever the fuck is going on in the hallway is not super fucking loud. Thank God I'm loud. But um I will be back with another one. Another one. <laughs> Damn, I gotta grow up. <laughs> I'm gonna grow up one day. But I will see y'all in the next video, and until then, bye.